we had a pretty strong feeling that there were just unbelievable innovators and technologists out there with ideas that could change the world that were ready to commit themselves to pursuing those ideas and just didn't feel like they had a place to go do that. The Cyclotron Road is a program that supports top innovators to help them get started developing really breakthrough energy technologies. This experiment essentially is to see if we can't create something where the best and the brightest go to develop awesome technology and have rewarding careers. Um, and honestly, there's no place like that right now. We run a national competition to find innovators from across the country. If you're selected, you get basically some funding to support you, some funding to support your project, and then we open the doors to uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab to you. The biggest barrier to getting started with a new idea in hard tech is you can't just sit on a, on a sofa and hack away at your laptop to develop your prototype. You, know, you basically need a, a world-class research lab, and so we provide that. The Cyclotron Road just seemed like a perfect fit for us because it would allow us to build that prototype that we needed, and then we could go off and get uh, private funding when, when we were much more mature and we had de-risked the technology sufficiently. We had an idea and a small proof of concept at a benchtop scale. With Cyclotron Road, within the last year or so, we have been able to move from that point to a pilot-scale demonstration. Cyclotron's role really also is to bring this sort of network together. Investors, industry people, philanthropic people. There's the business side of it, the mentorship and um, the advice. I mean, there, there's several mistakes that we just have not made because you know, we were able to realize them ahead of time and hear about other companies that had made similar mistakes. One of our goals in Cyclotron Road is to figure out how do we dramatically reduce the time and capital needed to get started on hard technology projects. For an innovator trying to get started, not only do they not have to spend that time raising money, they also have just a tremendous amount of resources in terms of scientific capital and human capital here at the lab. We're bringing our experience and our knowledge base in working really hands-on, one-on-one with our teams to try and take the lessons from the past and help them avoid dead ends, do things more efficiently and hopefully more successfully. Having been through it before, you know, they can really help us to avoid a lot of the common pitfalls that you know, technical startups might go through. And as you come to really key junctures and making decisions about how we want to grow both our technology and our companies, giving a, you know, an experienced hand to sort of guide us along that path. One of our new cohort members said, what's the catch? This is such a great opportunity. And we're like, there's no catch. Like, this is what you get. Yeah, if you're the best and the brightest in technology and you want to make an impact, come here. That's it.